What's going on everyone? It's Fuzzy. Welcome back to yet another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty gameplay. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Every time a Mike Schmidt card comes out, he looks like one of the best cards in the game, but his swing always ruins it. Now, I have not used this version of Mike Schmidt just yet, so I'm hoping that he's going to be better because his attributes are silly, especially when you put him at shortstop because I'm not very good with Wander Franco. I'm still struggling to find a shortstop that I can use on a daily basis. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Francisco Lindor door but this dude has 93 and 112 contact he has 91 fielding with 95 arm at the shortstop position I really like this card it's just the swing that's gonna be the biggest difference now in the past I was terrible with big poppy cards I think he first got introduced in 2020 yeah but I was horrible with him so I never got a chance to see if he was good or not and the same goes for Mike Schmidt hopefully a new game brings a new swing and new success you know now that I think about it I'm pretty sure Mike Schmidt was the reason why I started watching MLB The Show videos way back in the day because I think in 16 he was the collection reward if you got every single card but I didn't know how to get it so I was watching YouTube videos and we are facing was that Walker Bueller? I have yet to face that guy this year. Our opponent is 85 and 41 so 44 games above 500 that is pretty good. <coughs> oh that was disgusting. That was a pretty good swing from Marcus Simeon, I threw a perfect curveball and he just waited on it and drove it the other way. Yeah, that's a great swing. There we go. Kyle Schwarber is flying out to Mike Trout. We have two down. And there we go. Can I stop saying there we go? Come on, brain, we can come up with new sentences. I deserve to be slapped in the face. Chipper Jones grounds out to his first baseman. I don't even know who that is. Is that Pete Alonso? I don't know. Oh, it's Joey Votto. I still have yet to get Joey Votto or Roberto Clemente. I am burnt out on offline missions. Come on, Schmidt. Okay, 66 speed. Trey Turner, there's no way he throws me out. Mike Schmidt's one for one. That is a W. God, that fastball, for whatever reason, has a ton of movement. I had... Pretty much perfect timing, it's just I missed it completely. Another strikeout for DeGoat, Jacob DeGrom. I miss him so much. I hope that he gets healthy pretty soon. So the two guys that we just talked about, Joey Votto and R Roberto Clemente. Yo, maybe, maybe I should go pick this dude up. <sighs> yeah, what do you guys think? Should I go grab Roberto Clemente even though I despise playing on All-Star and grinding offline? That was a bad pitch. But yeah, I just feel like Vladimir Guerrero Sr. is... What is this pitch? What did I just throw? But yes, the moral of the story, I feel like Vlad Sr. is better than Roberto Clemente. <sighs> How in the world did he just hit that baseball out? I want to see it. I definitely want to see his PC on this one. GG? I cannot believe that we gave up two home Was that back-to-back -back home runs? No chance. Well, we give up two runs on two solo shots. It could have been worse. I need to score more runs because I have none. That is going to be... Yo, I haven't hit the ball well once today. That is going to be a base hit with Vlad Sr., my man. Horrible hit. Dang it, that was at least a eight to nine pitch at bat with Grady. We do a pretty good job of making him throw pitches, which is a big time goal of today's game. But I, I wanted a home run. And then we strike out with Mike Trout. Oh, this is not going well so far. Well, he answered back with a very long at bat of his own. I think that was seven pitches to Trey Turner. Here we go, back to back outs. This is a big time inning for me. I need to throw a scoreless inning. Thank you very much, DeGrom. We strike out Kyle Schwarber. So he has three base hits and two runs. I have two base hits and zero runs. We're going to change that. And strike out two. Oh, this is... Oh. Thank you, Trey Turner. That is going to be a one-out double. Hopefully, Kyle Schwarber does have a decent arm. Yeah, no shot. That will not find a hole. So it is going to be up to Mike Schmidt to get this run in. I don't, I don't even know how I was able to hit that. I thought I did a check swing. All right, here we go. Come on, Mike. Oh. No, I, I cannot believe that the game gave me that. Come on, three and two count. Let's go. 
Hey! Mike Schmidt! Mike Schmidt! Mike Schmidt! Come on, buddy! I thought that was a home run. That will be... Now, if Mike Schmidt was playing third, he probably makes that play, huh? <sighs> this is going to be a very stressful game. Big time strikeout. Let's go, JT. Or not JT. Jacob. I got to stop pumping my fist and throw the ball because we got to throw it. Well, we are going to the bottom of the fourth. I have not been able to muster up a single run. We just barely missed a game tying home run with the debut man, Mr. Schmidt. So we got to focus. That I cannot barrel up a ball against this Walker Bueller. Every single one of his pitches has so much break on it. That is the first ball that we've hit well all day today, and that is going to get not caught. That's why Roberto Clemente to me is not that good. Yeah, the diamond defense is cool with the diamond arm and everything like that, but that speed, it's going to cost him. No, I keep missing it. My timing has been pretty much good all day today, but I'm missing it. Every single time I'm swinging, it is good. I just cannot barrel it up. I'm not angry just yet. This dude is pitching an absolute gem, so I gotta tip my cap, but by the seventh or eighth, if I haven't scored, then I'll be mad. I mean, I'm, I'm doing my job too. Two runs through four and a third is not horrible against a guy that has a super squad. That is going to get caught. Hopefully, Trey Turner's got the 99 speed. We have two down. Don't know how he was able to get to that one. Grady is going to run over there like a gazelle and make the final play of the top of the fifth. I got a score. Atta boy, Mike. That one is going to drop. I knew that he was going to either throw a cutter away or a fastball in, and we guessed halfway right. Nothing I can do on that pitch. Absolutely nothing. That was perfect. Well, good thing we have 99 speed, so we're going to be able to beat that out. I just... I can't figure this dude out. And then that one's gonna get caught, which is always fun. I'm trying my best right now, guys. He is pitching a gem. And that is gonna be another one, two, three inning. So aside from that really bad pitch to Roberto Clemente, that was my fault. And I don't remember who had the other home run. We've pretty much played the same. That Mike Schmidt is two for three. That is a good sign. I'm almost okay with losing as long as he gets one more base hit. That has to be a home run. That has to be a cheesy little home run with Mike Piazza. I'm, I'm actually glad that it's not because that was horrible PCI placement, which has been the story of today. Good timing and terrible PCI placement. Just look at this. Good timing, bad PCI. We take a four pitch walk with David Ortiz. Come on, Vlad, do, do your job. That has to be a base hit up the middle. 66 speed, I know Roberto has a cannon, we have a run on the board, finally. Scores two to one. No, I'm not gonna be able to run on that one. Yo, I smashed that with Grady. I even knew that he was gonna go fastball up and away. Yes, that is going to be a tie. Oh, go to, I'm not even gonna try and go to third. No chance. Atta boy, Mike. I'm actually gonna leave in Jacob DeGrom just because I've been pitching pretty well with him and I wanna see what I can do with him offensively. Okay, that was stupid on my part. We're going to the seventh, and I, I probably should have brought in a pinch hitter. I don't even know how this is gonna go. I really don't. Is this gonna be over the wall, or am I catching this? Thank you. I was about to say, me not taking out Jacob Bagram was the dumbest thing I've done all year. Oh my good, come on, Grady. This is where you have to show off the defense. My man. Oh no, no. No. Oh, I don't even know how that was perfect. Wow! To the bottom of the seventh we go. We have the top of the order coming up. This is where we got to do some more damage. 99 speed. Get cheesy for me. Get cheesy for me. Yes! Oh. This is where Mike Trout, not Mike Trout. This is where Mike Schmidt's debut can become legendary. Oh, no, no, that's... 
that's not cool. That's really not cool. I hit that baseball 105 miles an hour. I can already tell that ball was smashed. 104. Well, at least I got a run. And also, Mike Schmidt has two base hits. So we're fine in that department, I guess. Dang it, he got me. Well, everyone, we are going to the top of the eighth. Do I leave in Jacob deGrom? I feel like I should. <sighs> okay, Mike Schmidt gets another opportunity. I love seeing that diamond badge. He brings in Nick Castellanos. <laughs> no. That's a really good hit. He can take the lead with one swing. Double play. Come on, come on. Okay, I guess we'll get the easy out. We almost turned it. All right, guys, here's the deal. We're going to bring in a roll this Chapman because he's got Schwarby and Simeon coming up. And, uh, yeah, that's just what is going through my head. Stealing. And he's there easy, huh? I missed the throw. Oh, my gosh, the amount of foul. I can't complain. I've gotten a lot today, too. I missed my spot on the slider, and he missed his PCI. The amount of good timing swings that I've had today is incredible. I just got to get better at moving my PCI. Mike Trout is so good. I don't care what you guys say about that PCI. That's all because Trout is the GOAT. Why is he throwing home? That is a home run. That's a, not a home run. That's not even to the warning track. All right, top of the ninth. Josh Hader. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go, Mo. One down. That will be two down if Trey can make the play. He does. Only Joey Votto is in our way. He's hitting 150 with Joey Votto. Is he not? Wow, he just doesn't feel comfortable with him. Yes. That was a really, really, really close game. A really fun game, in my opinion. It's always nice to go up against a stud. And if you're watching this, my man, even though your logo is a little bit sus, you were still really good. So Jacob deGrom settles down after giving up two runs in the second, and then we make the comeback in the sixth and the seventh. Mike Schmidt has two base hits in his debut. I'm going to try him out one more time. And also, I might have to go pick up that Walker Bueller because he was, he was disgusting. But thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.